Okay, so this is how you choose your Sprout social account and start using it. So start your free trial. You get three different options right here and check out the prices, 99 per user per month plus this. There is a standard version that's only 59 per user per month. You can add five additional profiles for 25 a month. All right, so let's get started with the premium. All right, create account, uh, Twitter profile. There we go. Click here, authorize app. Connection successful. You can see which profiles you can add right here. Let's add a Facebook profile too. There we go. And here you can see all your Facebook pages. Let's do this one and connect. There we go. And we can also add Instagram, but that's it for now. Next publishing schedule and then that is my time zone get started so this is the first window when you log in for the first time and this is how you compose a message so you just click here compose you choose your profile let it be twitter or facebook or let's do both so remember to use those hashtags right on then what we can do is we can save it to drafts we can edit to queue. Those are pre-select times when it will post it that I've set before. Right, and then we can schedule it right here. So let's do, I could do Wednesday at 9 p.m. and Sunday at 9 a.m. I can also add media right here. I can add photos. Let's do a dunk pic. There it is. Now we got a picture and we can schedule it pow that's it the first thing right here is messages which is kind of like your inbox like your email inbox so there we go from all of your social profiles so what you can do here is you can follow the person you can complete the task so when you complete it it goes out of this uh, view so basically you can get to zero inbox which is awesome um, also, you can add a task so you can, this is for teams, so you can add a task to someone else who can answer this message better than you or do something else with this specific message. Um, what else you can do? You can reply to the message right here. So I can go through my whole inbox from all my social profiles and get the messages done. It's a pretty handy view because everything is in one place. All right, then tasks. Tasks is if someone else gives you a task, a team member or your boss, or you can give tasks to other people and you will see them here. All right, let's go to feed. All right, so this is your Twitter feed. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You see all your Twitter posts here and you can reply to the posts here. You can also retweet them and like them from straight from this platform here. And here is the publishing view. It'll show you the calendar. This is a week and it shows my scheduled posts right here on Wednesday, Friday, or you can just check the list view where you can see all your scheduled posts with the photos right here. Then we got Sprout Q. This is the thing I was talking about where you can set schedule times so for example on your instagram account from your uh, twitter account you can choose these times so let's say we've got on weekdays we want to post two times a day one at 9 a.m and one at 1 p.m that's it and then facebook we only want to post once a day and that will be at 11 a.m so now every time we want to write a message, let's say, let's cue a message here and say something cool. Cue next or cue last, cue, that's it. That's all you got to do. And this post will go the next set time. So it will go 11 a.m. today. That's it. That's all you got to do. You, know, you can do these pretty fast because you can just write this message, cue. Write this message, Q. That's it. And they will go every day at 11 a.m. or whenever you've set the time. That's it for Q. Then you have your drafts here. If you've saved some drafts pushing this button, they'll be here. 
you can use them, you can schedule them, you can post them, that's it. Then discovery, you can search for a keyword here. Let's do basketball, there we go, and search. So now you can see everything, you can you know, add this person, follow the person, you can retweet like everything from this platform right here. You can use different keywords, keywords for different locations, do a new search, you got suggestions here, and then finally, we've got reporting. Let's see the reports for our Twitter profile. We've got 345 organic impressions, we've got engagement and link clicks if you have links. You got your audience growth, total followers, followers lost. Hey, there's a follower loss right there. And also top posts and responses policies, which is great to know, like, oh, this post did well, let's do something like that again. Oh, one more thing is, if you have different companies, different projects you're working on, you can see them here and you can add different groups. So this first one is a basketball one, then I can add a different group called uh, personal profiles, for example. And the great thing about this is now you have compartmentalized these two, let's say your business profiles and your personal ones. So you can switch between those two right here. So when you click your um, business one, you can get your business feed, your business posts, everything separately from your personal ones. So that's one great feature of Sprout Social. Keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you use Sprout Social. It's pretty easy to learn, easy and fast to learn. Just dive right in.